I created this uh, video for better visibility about the templates so as you can see below that you will see the different templates under the incident record so this is an incident record at the moment where I drilled down to so to get here you need to go to incidents of course and you can choose um, any incident record and the triple dot here that you will see you could uh, toggle the template bar so you can see it disappears at the bottom and now you could also um, add it so it could appear at the bottom as well so on the right corner you could create a new template right as you create a new template then you could just enter the parameters that needs to be entered right for example you have the the name right of the table and of course the the purpose of this template and eventually it has defaulted to different um, fields on the template so you can remove as you can see in the right you can remove it and as you submit this um, template then it will automatically appear at the bottom right so depending on the purpose of your template you could reuse that in the record producer so I will now move to the record producer and you can see that on this record producer create incident one of the famous ones which is um, available in vanilla right so under the table name incident you go to the generated record data and on the template you can now access the template that you have created right so from there um, you could use that and auto assignments this is one approach there's quite a few approaches in service now but this is one of the um, uh, famous ones which is um, within the scope of this uh, thread right now if you go back you can verify that for example incident call type now if I go back uh, on 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 this record producer so let's have incident call type and you can see automatically now once you save this upon creation of the incident it will automatically fill fill out the form on what you have declared in the template hopefully this recording um, has assisted you let me know if you have further questions thank you